All right, here it is. My first Myers half house. It's about 99% done right now. I have a few things I have to touch up on it and finish the leaves. They're just kind of sitting up there right now. I'm actually cutting them out of uh, actual fall leaves here. So uh, the way I'm gluing them on, they're not going to, I tested it on a piece of cardboard. They're not going to break apart or anything like that. So that's kind of cool. And some of them are broken. Uh, before I glued them but that looks pretty cool if you ask me it's uh, very lifelike uh, there's always busted up leaves around outside and stuff so it should look pretty cool the other thing I have to finish is on the sides where I connected it to the backdrop there's a big space back there and I have to fill it in and paint it black so the light doesn't bleed through when I turn the lights on and I'll kill the lights here in uh, in a minute for you and show you so there's not too horribly much to look at it's just like the other Myers houses only just the front fascia I did not put a jack-o-lantern on this one kind of going for the scene in the movie um, you know it's still not exact I like to keep them kind of the same but just a little bit different um, Obviously got the door, the screen up there, the screen door, no trespassing sign, strode realty, trying to get a good, clean, crisp view for you guys, sorry. All right, there you go. Now what I did on the switches for this one, pretty simple. You can see them right there. I wanted them to be easily accessible and you know somewhat hidden so I put them right here and um, there's two switches one for the interior lights and I put stars in this house as well now it's kind of hard to get an exact feel for the sky there are like black clouds up there uh, it's mixed with a really dark blue and black so you get a really good contrast of both colors depending on what light you're in in brighter lights, the blue looks, it looks like a really bright blue night sky. And then in this kind of lighting, which is medium, I have a couple lamps on. Um, as you can see, it's like a dark navy blue. At least that's what I'm seeing through my screen. And uh, when you have even dimmer lights on, it looks pretty much black. So, and the stars, um, you really can't tell, but they're gold they're like a gold color so the cool thing about putting these stars in is with the fiber optics there's a couple things that uh, you can do now the permanent thing when you're putting them together when you poke the holes into whatever you're using as a backdrop when you put the fiber optic cable in there depending on how far you push it through will determine how bright it looks or how dim it looks which kind of the brighter ones look like they're closer and the smaller ones, you know the dimmer ones look like they're further away you can kind of tell what I'm talking about there so I left the bulb um, loose into the uh, whatever you want to call it that I made the setup that I made for the fiber optic cables so I can move that bulb around I can move it to the left or right or um, take it out further, put it in further, and that changes the star pattern. Um, I can make it so some of them are lit, lit up, some of them are not, brighter, dimmer, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it's pretty cool. If you give me a second here, I'm gonna change the light setup for you guys. Hold on one second. All right, here it is. So that's a little bit better uh, view. I just have a mag light on in the background and the TV with music playing which is flashing some lights so just like my other videos I love playing music so this is what it looks like I like that warm uh, vintage light look in these houses it really really kind of fits yeah so that's pretty much what it looks like guys there's really not too much else to look at um, on this one but I love building these things and uh, the full houses have been a blast but 
I think I'm done with those. Those are just way too much work. And I'm really digging how this one turned out. So I think I'm going to kind of change things up a bit, but I'm going to kind of stick with this route with only making the front fascia. So anyways, I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching.